Hi folks, Van Prepper here with a very, very special Safe Act and Gun News update. Albion Gun Shop in Albion, New York, um, the, the FFL dealer from the gun buyback video, we did the gun rescue video in Binghamton, New York a couple months ago, is from the Albion Gun Shop. The Albion Gun Shop has had their records seized by the state police with threat of, a, of SWAT intervention. Uh, or, or at least the acknowledgement that they were considering uh, coming in with a SWAT team, which is insane in and of itself that they wouldn't just come in and ask a legitimate business owner, you know, and have a discussion with them about their records, uh, whether it's legal or not, versus coming in immediately with a SWAT team, that they would even consider that shows uh, just how insane this whole thing is. Uh, but the Albion Gun Shop has had the record seized, and this is not unlike uh, what happened with Aries Armor. Uh, they had the records seized. They voluntarily turned those records over, but it was through threat of, because in New York State, under the New York SAFE Act, um, police, law enforcement can demand, and if necessary, seize or confiscate um, the records of FFL holders, uh, uh, FFL dealers, um, to, to get the, the records of their customers. Now, I'm going to include a story. I'm not going to get into you know, the details surrounding this particular case that, that led to this, but uh, the points that I want to make are um, a legitimate, law-abiding, uh, federal firearms license holder dealer had their records, um, de were demanded from them, and had to turn their records over of their customers um, for as, as near as anybody can figure. There is no illegality here whatsoever. Uh, it is over a bullet button uh, being installed on AR-15s, which the owner of the Albion Gun Shop, uh, if you read the story, was told that everything should be okay with that, that it's it's New York Safe Act compliant. This is the biggest problem with the New York Safe Act, other than it's unconstitutional. Um, the people that are enforcing it either do not know or will not tell us exactly what this is and what, what this you know kind of encompasses so that federal firearms licensed dealers and uh, private gun owners like myself are kind of walking around in this limbo where we don't actually know what's going on. Uh, this is a travesty of justice in my opinion. Please, I'm going to put a link to the story uh, of this uh, seizure, the, the records being seized, in the, in the description. Please check out this. I want this video to be a lot shorter than the gun confiscation video, so uh, please share this. I really want this news to get out. This is garbage that the state police did this, in my opinion. Um, you know, make up your own mind, but share this. Share the video, share the story. Share it on Facebook, share it on YouTube, share it on Twitter. Wherever we can share it to get this news out, it is very important uh, because we can't just let these kind of things go. Um, you know, there's 170 plus gun owners who now the state has access to, to whether or not they own um, firearms and then subsequently whether or not they registered those firearms they can check and these people can all be arrested this is a garbage garbage law the new york safe act from top to bottom and the way that is written is garbage nobody knows what's going on with it please i am van prepper this has been a very special safe act and gun news update thank you guys for bearing with me in my kind of disheveled jumbledness but uh thank you very much share like subscribe do whatever you got to do but get the word out about this i'm van prepper happy shooting everybody